Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month's episode of Person Place Thing where I will be highlighting a person, a place and a thing. Another top intro. So the person I want to give a shout out to this month is actually a people, not a person because I just want to say a massive congratulations to all of the Team GB Winter Olympic athletes because we had our most successful ever Winter Olympics. So in particular I want to give a shout out to three people, I want to mention three people real quick. So the first is Billy Morgan getting bronze in the men's snowboarding big air, absolutely insane. The final run he threw down was just so good. And I actually used to train with Billy years ago, not really with him, but we used to train in the same gym down in Southampton because that's where I was at university and that's where he's from. And I remember I used to see him on the trampoline doing really weird flips because obviously snowboarders flip at different angles to free runners so i remember i used to watch him in the air and think oh my goodness that's gone so wrong he's about to land on his head and then he would land on his feet and i'd just be like what what hmm but clearly those trampolining sessions paid off so massive congratulations to you billy even though you will not be watching this video but yeah well done i need to stop doing this why am i doing this today and the other two people I just wanted to quickly mention were the two girls who I was working with when I teamed up with Team GB, the girls who taught me to ski and snowboard, so that's Rowan Cheshire and Katie Ormrod. First of all, I'm just so, so gutted for Katie that she wasn't able to compete. Unfortunately, on I think it was like on the first day of training, she broke her wrist and was still going to carry on and compete, which I think really shows just how hardcore she is and how dedicated she was to doing really well at these Olympics. But then unfortunately, maybe the next day or a couple of days later, in another training day, she broke her heel really badly. The photos of her x-ray on her Instagram are just so grim and just looked horrific. And I know that she would have been absolutely gutted not to be able to compete and I just really hope, Katie, if you do watch this, that you heal up really quickly and you'll be back on your snowboard as soon as possible. And then finally, a huge congratulations to Rowan because she ended up placing in the top 10 in the women's ski half pipe. I think she finished in seventh in the end, which was incredible. I mean, just qualifying for the finals in itself was a massive achievement, but then to finish in the top 10 is just like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it again. What is this about today? Katie? Katie, what is this? Oh, this is a rip. So yeah, massive congratulations to you, Rowan. You did absolutely amazingly. And also, I really enjoyed watching your vlogs while you were out at the Olympics. And your ones since you've been back. And your ones from before that. So keep going with those. I know you're probably not going to watch this, but I'm just telling you anyway. And to those guys who are not Rowan and are watching this, which is everyone, <laughs> Uh, go and check out her vlogs because she's been putting up some vlogs recently and I really like them so yeah I have days where it's harder to sit down and talk to the camera than others some days I just can't really form sentences and it's like my brain's thinking too much today is one of those days so moving on to the place now I can decide between two places I wanted to talk about this month so I'm just gonna mention them both really quickly in fact I haven't checked the name of one of them I think it's Kappa but let me just go check that hey babe what was the name of the gym that we trained at in Kiev so the first place I wanted to give a shout out to is Kappa gym in Kiev it's a parkour gym and Eric and I were invited to go along and train there Eric had actually been before once I think uh, but I'd never been before and I really like the gym. It's definitely more of a parkour gym than a free running gym. I mean, that doesn't really make much sense to say that. But I know that the guys and girls who train there definitely focus a lot more on sort of pure parkour stuff rather than flips and things. I think they do a little bit of both, but I know that um, they really focus on their parkour training. And it was so nice to go there and just do some parkour challenges and not think about doing any flips. Or anything like that so that was fun the only thing I would say about it is that it is a little bit cold in there so I definitely want to go back and visit but I may wait until the summer to do that but it was really cool gym I really like the setup there and the people were just lovely oh my gosh if I do this one more time I'm actually gonna go crazy what is this do I normally do this in videos and the second place I wanted to mention is skydive Dubai I think I've probably talked about skydiving enough I feel like 
on Instagram, I was like going on about it. And then my last vlog was all about skydiving, but I just had such a good time. And although you probably, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my phone is not on silent when I film a video. Oh, but my sister just did really well on a presentation. So well done, Charlie. Where was I? I think you probably have an amazing experience going skydiving anywhere because it's just such a fun thing to do, like falling through the air. It's as simple as that, but it is just so, so cool. But I do think that we had really good and fun instructors at Skydive Dubai. I'll put their Instagrams below. So if you're ever in Dubai, you should try and get in touch with those guys and go skydiving with them. I cannot recommend it enough. So just quickly wanted to mention them. Moving on, so the thing I wanted to talk about this month is my rip surfboard, which is this thing here. It's like a skateboard, but it only has two wheels. Can you see that? Is it in focus? So yeah, I bought that on Amazon the other day, and actually when I did, I put up a little Instagram story saying that I was gonna join the rip surf gang, and I had maybe 10 to 15 people message me being like, no, Katie, what are you doing? That's so not cool. I don't get it. I think it is cool. Why not? It's like a little skateboard with only two wheels and you have to wiggle to make it move. What's not cool about that? <laughs> but yeah, Eric and I tried rip surfing for the first time in Dubai because one of the guys, Jeremy from Parkour DXB, has one and he had it lying around in the gym and Eric decided to give it a go and when I saw Eric giving it a go I thought, well, now I'm going to have to give it a go. And I actually thought when I saw Eric going on it, this board with two wheels that he was powering with wiggles. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. There's no way I'm gonna be able to stand on a board with two wheels and wiggle and it's gonna go. But it did and it's really fun. So basically, I think all of the haters are just a little bit jealous. In fact, I think Billy Morgan was one of the haters. I think he's one of the people who messaged being like, no, Katie. And I say yes. Yes, Billy. I'm gonna become a professional rip surfboarder, and then you'll be sorry. You won't be sorry. Anyway, this has gone a little bit weird. I'm probably just gonna end this video now. Okay, guys, see you next time. Bye.